Cut the wheel. Come forward. Oh, oh. All right, guys. Well, we got kind of put on another wild goose chase here by uh, good old Mike Street Speed 717. But we're about three minutes away. We did end up getting the wheels and tires. So uh, I'm gonna end this video back with the Corvette and then we'll pick back up on the video that we're going to do right now. So uh, it's always something guys, but you know, as long as you're a, a body in motion stays in motion is what I like to say. So, all right, plug and chug. I'll see you guys back with the Corvette content. This other thing will be a whole separate video. <sighs> Three minutes away there, buddy. All right guys, good morning guys and welcome to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, I am Senate Steve. We are in Boss Hog, the F450, which is, you know, one of my favorite trucks I think I've ever owned in all of my time. So, not sure if you can see back there, but we got the trailer on, and that is because our boy Mike, Street Speed 717, you know, I don't think he's really asked for a favor, but he asked what I was doing, asked if I, you know, wanted to go along. So I said, absolutely. I got a brand new winch. Let's try it out. I got the trailer. Let's just get it all done. Mike does have a trailer too, and he does have a winch on his truck. But, I mean, why not help a friend out, you know? So we're gonna head over here and uh, see what we're getting ourselves into. I guess he had a little bit of a vehicle uh, get wrecked. I guess a little bit of a vehicle get wrecked. I don't know if that makes sense. But he had a vehicle get wrecked, and I told him I was able to help him get it loaded up and everything. So we're in route, Mike. I'll see you in about two minutes. Stand by, plug and chug. We also have some PBS light. Well, we are about to hit 281, so we'll get that addressed at some point, I guess. All right, well, we got a bunch of dirt on the trailer from the Bruce's excursion, but we have arrived over here, and uh, this thing looks a little silly. Now, this isn't, I guess, the situation I thought we were walking up onto, but I guess it's better than nothing. Oh, so it does start at least. It does start at least. I didn't reveal anything yet. Well, don't break. It's not that. It doesn't. It looked worse when like yeah. the tire was you know, falling off. And yeah. Everything. It looked worse. It happens. It does happen. Yeah. Sucky situation, but so I guess this side ended up taking a, a pretty good whack and. Uh, Definitely bent some stuff from what I see. Good old rough country lift though. Seems like it took most of the brunt. All right. Uh, it's not necessarily bad. You think it'll drive over there? I think it'll drive over. It's pretty pigeon toed. It's very pigeon toed, <laughs> but we're gonna find out. All right, well, get her over there and if we need the winch, we got the winch. Does it have brakes? Yeah. There's a truck coming and then. No? Well, then welcome to the Bruce's world. <laughs> Is that full lock? Turn this way? Will it turn this way? No. Well, we'll just do a 400 point turn. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, they're not even, are they turning? It's a little straight now. I think if we move your other truck, that way you can just back straight over. Me to film? Sure. <laughs> film your struggle? Film me in here wrestling with the steering wheel. Do you have it on or no? Yeah. It's not, it's not really turning. The wheel's full up, but I'm not turning. Yeah. Well. It definitely goes left, not right. It just doesn't turn right. Just doesn't go right. Look at that wheel. Come on, baby, you got this. Stop there and roll 
pull back. Do you want the ramps or you want to just... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. He's certainly fighting it. You can tell by the angle right now. <laughs> it's pretty bad. You want the ramps just to make it easier or you want to just try it? Yeah. Unless you want the ramps. Aim this way a little. Now, obviously, this is not good. I know you guys are going to say this way. Keep it this way. Yep. A little more. Oh, back up. You completely missed that rear. <laughs> yeah. Cut the wheel. Come forward. Oh, oh. Oh, well, now it's a mess. I'm not turning. All right, now go straight. Oh boy, driving it off the trailer. Good? Yeah, that should do it. Good. I'm sorry, sir. I have no, I have Take two. No <laughs> the poor F450 just gets beat down when people load it. Keep like just keep the wheel left. All right, go ahead up. A little more. You're on now, so. Whoa, oh. Yep, yep. Alright, that's why it's like all allergy. Yeah. Well that was fun. That was hard. Good thing I don't have a brand new trailer. I was gonna say, are you sure you <laughs> Oh man? Jeez, buddy. Wow. It's jacked up, man. There's there's something really wrong with it if it's like that. Absolutely. Definitely would think that uh, the whole upper control arm got pushed in or something. Yeah, something definitely got really You can tell because like look how far in that wheel yeah, is. Really bad. And, and not just the tie rod either because the tie rod is intact. Yeah. So it's something with the whole the whole setup. Um That is a little rough. Well, you want to buy a green truck? <laughs> As if I don't have enough projects? What do you guys think? Scrap parts off what do you guys think? Should we buy another project? I think Steve needs a green OBS truck <laughs> in his fleet. <laughs> well, As if we don't have enough. Let's come up with a, a, a good agreement and you know we'll talk. what you could do is you can use that uh, lift kit on your Suburban. Nah, it's way different. Way different? Yep. Shouldn't be. It is. Oh yeah, that's right. You have a new body style yeah. Suburban. Never mind apologize about the wind noise but holy smokes that I think I did damage to the C5 wheel back in the day but I'd say that's definitely worse than the C5 wheel which I do have at the house maybe we'll compare them but let's get this thing loaded up on the truck and uh, we'll go from there guys well I almost drove off and forgot to say bye I'll let you know what damages we got all right unbelievable I'm just gonna run it into a tree as soon as I get to my house. That works too. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah. We'll see you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. We now have possession of the OBS truck. So, I don't know what we're gonna do with it, guys. We have way too many projects as is. But, uh, I guess, oh, it definitely bottoms out every now and again. But I guess we'll find out what we're gonna do in probably a week or so. So let's get back to the house. Plug and chug.
gotta give it to the Duramax. It does sound good. So if you guys do see any kind of racing clips, I got the trailer on the back and he's full of it. We never raced again. So Mike, you better not do that to me. Better not do that to me or I'll do a full call out video on you. And we will actually race. I know you're scared and all. But, better not do that to me. Plug and chug. All right, guys. Well, we have got the truck back to the house. And uh, I got to be honest with you. I'm not 100% which way we want to go. Um, one of the good things that I was thinking about is uh, where we were off-roading with the, the Bruce the other day. Um, it was such a tight, narrow trail that I honestly would never, ever take the F450. Um, and also when I get the Suburban done, I would never take the Suburban back through there. So this could potentially be just a rig that we keep on the channel. And you know, whenever we get in tight spots with that, or if that car or that vehicle ever broke, we would have a good, you know, recovery vehicle. Um, now, obviously we're hoping that the Bruce doesn't break and things like that, but we all know things happen. Plus we all know I'm absolutely hard on everything that I use. So what do you guys think? Should we keep this around on the channel? Yes or no? I'll leave it up to you guys. It doesn't bother me one way or another, um, but we are gonna go over details um, if, of the wreck and things like that. I did find the, the reasoning of why this thing was wrecked. Um, so I'm gonna make an, a whole another separate video for that and uh, we're gonna go from there. But there you guys have it. We got the new, uh, I don't know what you wanna call it, OBS build or you know we have the new truck or I don't know what we're doing with this yet. But we do have it. We're going to figure out what we're going to do. And we're going to take it from there. I got to get my trash out. But there you guys have it. Let's get it unloaded real quick. Wow, this is really starting to look like a four-wheel drive park. We got the Bruce. We got, I don't even know what this thing is yet, OBS. Got the Suburban, the F450, and then a Corvette and a Trans Am. But, man, I, I, you know, life couldn't be any more better. I know you guys look at this and all think junk, but I see potential. All, absolute beast. Potential. Absolute beast. I just love everything that I have. The Corvette is going to get back and running. Um, as you do know, we do have an appointment down with CSP later on this week, um, which I probably already did it by now, but you'll see it once it comes out. But there you guys have it. If you guys like the content, please smash that like button, please subscribe. And I promise you, we have a bunch of things coming on. And this thing is just flopped right in the middle of the mix of everything. But uh, I think we also have an event coming up with the Bruce here. I'll, if I have the information, I will put it down in below. But there you guys have it. Take care, and I will see you in the next upload.